Dan with the Shared Bits team. Uh, today, I want to do a quick walkthrough of our work in progress crypto exchange API. And we're going to look specifically at order books and just kind of walk through that real quick to show you how it works and give you a quick preview. So here are the API docs, which we have not released yet. Um, they're, not, they're not available live yet, but basically you take the URL for our exchange you go to your WebSocket client, drop that into the URL there, which I already have. Uh, and because the search parameter can be kind of long, I've already, I've gone ahead and already uh, built that out. So you can see we're going to be looking at the books channel, order books. We're going to look at uh, Bitcoin USD, BTC USD, and we're looking at the Bitfinex exchange. Duration is 15 seconds. That's 15,000 uh, 15, milliseconds. We have a refund invoice in here already uh, in the event that somebody wants to refund. And then, of course, we have our, our UUID. So send that. And you can see we've generated uh, a Lightning invoice here. We're going to copy that. I jump over to my Eclair client, send payment, copy that invoice. I have a couple extra characters in there at the end here, so I just delete those. You can see here it is um, in Satoshi's. Uh, so one Satoshi per second right now that we're using on testnet. Send that and you can see our data starts to stream. So again, it's 15 seconds worth. So um, it really gives you appreciation how much data there is when you watch a stream like this. And wait for this to conclude. And it's done. So streamed 15 seconds of data, um, Bitfinex exchange, looking at um, BTC USD. And you can see down here, zero amount refunded because there was no interruption and um, no cancellation of the subscription while it was ongoing. And the user is now unsubscribed. So going back up here to the top, you know, scrolling down um, wherever you can see uh, price and quantity. If there is a uh, positive value, that means it's a bid. If you see a negative number, uh, like right here, that is an ask. So again, bid ask, one is creating liquidity, one is taking liquidity off the market. This, draw your attention real quick here to this message uh, on warnings. That's something we've built in just to let uh, let our users and our customers know that, you know, subscription is about to end. So it'd be 10 seconds before the subscription ends. We send a message saying, um, you know, it's almost, almost closing. So obviously I'm doing this manually right now, but this will be done programmatically through developers. Um, so you can build an automatic renewal if you want, um, or of course you can always just let the subscription uh, end and, and complete. So that's a quick preview of the order books. Um, we're pretty excited for it. You will see here in the docs, give you a quick look at this. Uh, we talk a little bit about you know, the details about payment and refill, unsubscribe, happens in the event of maintenance. Um, we have a couple other channels for tickers to stream ticker information. And where, wherever we have uh, possible, we've are detailed what exchanges currently support which fields because they're not, you know, they're obviously not uniform, they're not all the same. Right now, we're only working on Bitfinex and Binance. Uh, we have other exchanges on our roadmap that we'll start looking at, but those are the first two. You can see here trades, uh, and then of course, order books, which we just saw. So. That's where I know we're excited. Uh, and of course, your feedback is always welcome and appreciated. So um, look forward to sharing this with you folks. And uh, thanks for listening.